type of world are we living in? What type of society are we living in? We've got to understand who runs the system and for uh, what benefit. Now, the military budget is greater than all the US I'm talking about, for those who are wondering why I'm handling the US. It, it, it is more than all the other military budgets in the world. Well, yes, just coming. And uh, uh, that's not, that's 623 billion for 2008. And this is not counting the supplemental budget needing 3 trillion for the wars, the Afghan and Iraq war, according to Stiglitz. And 30 to 40 percent of the budget is black, it's hidden for classified purposes. So the true size and cost of the U.S. military empire is 1.1 trillion for 2008. It has 865 bases in 40 countries, uh, 190,000 troops in 46 countries. This doesn't include privatization of war, as I mentioned. It spends two billion dollars every day, and we've got a national debt of 10.6 trillion. Then we've got military Keynesianism. Um, and uh, we've got massive trade deficits financed by borrowing and the national debt, as I said, is over 10 trillion. So what we are seeing in this uh, uh, war economy, military expenditure, is military Keynesianism used to keep and maintain a permanent war economy. And military output is seen as ordinary economic product, which makes no contribution towards production and consumption. Well, why isn't women's housework yeah, put in the G GDP? But yet, the military figures are, which are, which are not productive at all. So, basically, and also in Congress, we see it is not willing, even under Obama, to reject this war economy. The economy has become preoccupied with death, <coughs> namely the business of killing and being killed. The war economy thrives on aggressive war and is a perverse real, real politic of national security. And finally, the hauling out of the US economy has occurred and we are seeing a lack of modernization and replacement of industrial assets. And indeed you could argue that the US manufacturing base has almost evaporated. Solution and conclusion. Quid, we need a new paradigm shift, as mentioned in my talk, quid pro quo, very simply. If the US, as the current superpower of the world, current, not for very long, believe you me, if the US wants to survive in a multipolar world of creditor nations, you know, it's bankrupt, it needs to do the falling, otherwise something's going to happen very soon. I don't mean 10 years. I don't even mean a year. To save the dollar and the nation, it requires a national vote to to show humility and repentance. That is a spiritual paradigm. Secondly, it needs to repudiate the neoconservative goal to achieve US global hegemony. It's not going to happen. Three, we must see the liquidation of the American military empire and its overseas bases, including this country. Four, secession of the Department of Defense budget as Keynesianism, job programs, and investment needs to be diverted into a socially productive economy, and indeed a debt-free green economy. Finally, we need to really reflect on, I do like my music, other than looking at the hard stuff out there. We need to really reflect on Michael Jackson's song, Man in the Mirror. We need to look at this problem in the eye and make that change, all of us. We need to end glorification of violence and repent. This entire enterprise, the military enterprise, is surplus to requirement, damaging to the national interest and security. It causes war and conflict with other nations. And what it shows is a global giant superpower in economic decline, engaged in imperial outreach, outreach, perpetual war, and insolvency. And the conclusion I have, based on other um, experts, is if it doesn't change,
there is a real danger of the collapse and physical fragmentation of the US state like the Soviet Union. Thank you very much.